It's Sunday Night Football, so you guys know what that means. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jason Mattis of Winning Bets. That's right, Sunday Night Football between the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers gives us a chance to win $100,000 on the NBC Sports Predictor app. All you got to do is get a perfect score to get that. If you don't get a perfect score, the players that accumulate the most points will split a $5,000 guaranteed prize. Last week, two people actually got a perfect score and split the big old jackpot of $100,000. So that was really amazing to see. Let's see if this can be our turn this week. Again, you've got the Eagles versus the 49ers, the 0 2 and one Eagles versus the 2-1 and 49ers. We know both of these teams here, here have been hit with a lot of injuries, so let's just jump on into it and start answering these questions. Question one is asking about Carson Wentz passing. We've done really well with this passing question each, each week here on both of these quarterbacks. You're only going to get it on Carson Wentz this week, but let's go ahead and have a look and see how he's going to do. The Eagles are going to be without Alshon Jeffrey, out with out, they're going to be without Deshaun Jackson, and then uh, our Seagull Whiteside is also doubtful for this game. So the Eagles are going to be without their top three wide receivers. That leaves with them with a bunch of nobodies that nobody's really heard of, unless you really follow the Eagles. And of course, Zach Hurts always a you know very threatful tight end there. Eagles are passing for 218 yards per game so far this season, and they're averaging one touchdown per game. And the 49ers are giving up 187 passing yards so far this game. Keep in mind though the 49ers have played the Giants and the Jets two of the worst teams in all the league I'm going to go ahead and answer this one Carson Wentz with 225 the 244 passing yards and he's going to get two touchdowns on the day all right the next question here is the longest play of the game this one's really really tough you know to answer you can we do know that the Eagles have the number three def- or you do have the number three and the number five defense in the league going up in this matchup, so maybe that'll limit a big play. So because we have two top five defenses going at it in this matchup, I'm going to say less than 32 yards, and obviously hope that we don't get a big play in this game. All right, so how many total points are going to be in the first half? Well, the 49ers are allowing 15 a game, while the Eagles are allowing 29 a game. The 49ers are scoring 29 a game, while the Eagles are only scoring 20 a game. I'm envisioning a halftime score of like 10 to 7 or maybe 9 to 7. So go ahead and answer this one, 15 to 17. Who's going to have the second most Who's going to have the second quarter most receiving yards? Again, another really tough question that they want to ask us on a near weekly basis. Again, the Eagles, you're getting Ertz on this one. You're getting Greg Ward, which is going to be their top receiver in this game, given all the injuries they do have at the wide receiver position. But you're not getting any other wide receiver, and you're not getting a running back of the available selections here. And then for the 49ers, you're getting Kittle, and you're getting the top two wide receivers that they have. I'm going to go ahead and answer this one. Any other Eagles player has the second has the most receiving yards in the second quarter. Who's going to get the first TD of the second half? Well, of the available 49ers here to select, you're getting four TDs with a possible 10 that they've scored on the season. And here for the Eagles, you're getting three of the TDs that they've scored, which is uh, three of the six that they've scored so far in the season. You're not getting Carson Wentz, who's oddly enough ran in two touchdowns so far in the season. So go ahead and give me any other Eagles player, and we'll see if we can't get lucky on this one. All right, the second to last question is who's or what's going to be the longest field goal of the game? For the 49ers, Robbie Gold is on 6 of 7 on the year, his long is 52, and his he's kicked the mo, he's attempted the most field goals in the range of actually 50 plus. For the Eagles, you get Elliott. He's also made six of seven field goals on the season with his long one being 54 yards. He's he's attempted the most in that 30 to 39 range. We're going to say with two really strong defenses going on at, at it here in this game, you're going to get a 50-yard attempt. And both of these guys have made 50-plus yarders. So I'm, answer, I'm answering this one 50-plus yards. And then for the last question, who's going to win and what's going to be the margin? I'm going to go ahead and say the 49ers win this game. They're favoring this game by seven. Tons of injuries, so I'm not really thinking there's going to be a blowout. Give me 49ers win this game by five to six. So that's how I'm going to answer it for a chance to win $100,000 on the NBC Sports Predictor app. Go ahead and like this video. If I've been a help to you on at least one of these questions, go ahead, like this video, and let's see if we can't win some money together. I'm Jason Mattis, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.